So the third exit strategy is then then we the people regulate the existing and that has always happened before like regulation it's in a previous industrial revolution for example when the car was introduced right there were no there were no rules there were not even r real paved roads i mean the cars were scaring the horses that was the big that was the big problem and uh, there was no you know uh, right before left or, or traffic lights or driver's license or even driving on the right or the left side that wasn't and in some countries that's still different nowadays right you drive on another side of the road so these regulations of how to deal with kind of like a deadly machine called a car uh, had to be come up with and we created also different regulations for different age groups for example we do not allow a 12 year old driving a semi truck well, a four a 16 year old in some countries can can ride a scooter or drive even drive a car maybe a 14 year old is even allowed to ride a scooter in some countries but a semi truck maybe maybe not and so we, we're entering kind of like the same era to see like at what age for example is what kind of technology actually useful and what kind of technology uh, should never be allowed what should be and so these uh, this is also a normal process of technological revolutions that we are now going through and we understand how to regulate and how to put together the rules to get the best out of this technological revolution and to mitigate the downsides so again, I said these technologies are basically extensions of our minds and the providers of these technologies know you better than you yourself in many respects. Now, they use that in order to change your behavior because that's the product they are selling. I'm repeating myself here, but it's very important to understand what this is about, right? Now, there's then a big imbalance of power. If they know you better than you yourself, there's a big imbalance of power of information, right? And even if they don't know you better than you yourself, they know you better than maybe others do. Now, in almost every country on planet Earth, there is there are laws that actually regulate exactly that. Many regulations, we don't have to reinvent the wheel. These rules already exist. Uh, it's called the fiduciary, fiduciary duty or the fiduciary law. For example, if you're a priest and you go to a priest and you tell him all your sins, uh, you know, the priest is not allowed to turn around and say like, and, and sell this, these secrets, this imbalance of power, these secrets that the priest knows about you to the highest bidder. Or for example, your psychologist. Right? Your psychologist that you tell all your problems with is not allowed to say like, oh, now I know the problems. I know the vulnerability of these people. Hey, somebody, somebody wants, to, wants to pay what's the highest bidder to, in order to exploit this person. I know exactly how to hit this person under the belt. Who wants to? They're not allowed to do that. Now, social media companies are exactly allowed to do that. Or your doctor, your physician. Your physician knows your vulnerabilities. They cannot go around and then sell this to somebody who wants to take advantage of it. Uh, right, just because the physician, you go there with your vulnerabilities uh, or your lawyer that you say like, look, that's actually what's going on. But then please help me to the, the lawyers not cannot sell this or, or me as a teacher. I'm a teacher. I know the learning uh, vulnerabilities of my students. I'm not allowed to go around and then suddenly exploit that uh, in order you know, to change the behavior due to some commercial interest of a third party. So fiduciary laws are ethical laws that have been put in place exactly from when there is a imbalance in power and some party could abuse that power. Now, as I said, so new, it doesn't have to be new regulation, just as this regulation has to be applied to the digital age. And we see that all over the place with the regulation. For example, again, being a communication scholar, uh, the idea of television, what is on television on Sunday morning, which cartoons and what's there and what not, because we have shown that kids just, you know, unsupervised on Sunday morning, go and watch cartoons. Now, what's on TV that's highly regulated? Now on social media or elections, the same things in many countries, it's not allowed several days before the election to still campaigning because, you know, let things cool down in many countries. That's just the regulation now on social media. Well, some social media companies voluntarily, but there's no. Re so the first step of regulation is taking existing regulation and applying it to the digital age. And then there might be some new regulation that we have to add on.